<laughs> anyway, the Times now, and Rishi's not happy about sex education in schools, which now apparently includes instructions on oral sex and how to choke your partner. And it's probably delivered by a drag queen in a gimp suit, Cressida. Well, yes. Sex Education Review launched by Sunak. Uh, so, yeah, he's bringing forward the review that was due this year anyway. But 50 MPs have written to him saying, come on, we need to do this now, and everything you just said about yeah. drag queens mm. and, and uh, adult activities. Um, so Miriam Cates, she's the, the MP leading this. Um, she's told the, the Commons graphic lessons on oral sex, how to choke your partner safely in 70... Choke your partner safely? <laughs> I've just been reading Louise Perry's book about this stuff, and she says there is no safe uh, choke. Anyway, that's, that's now another, you tell me. <laughs> another topic. Um, yeah, so we've heard this before. There's, there's a minimum of what has to be taught, but there's no ceiling. Um, so, so we need Rishi oh. to... So there's a limit. They, they, they say you've got to teach the kids a minimum of stuff, but they don't say it. But you've got to stop yes. when you get to this, this, ra this, this height on the shelf. The w. sky's Smith's. the limit yeah. is what they're arguing. So all these concerned parents don't know what's being taught in the classrooms. And, I mean, this is the outrageous thing. They don't know what's being taught in the classrooms. I know. Yeah. I know. And, and this is one of the things that's being called to change. And in, in some places, I mean, in Canada, uh, um, I think it was in Canada, a mother uh, queried what was being taught. And she was, she was charged, I believe. She was, uh, she was disciplined for... Uh, um, in, in some way by the state uh, for having the temerity to ask what, what well, a child was crazy. Being well, taught. China's a whole different league. But then Canada. saying that, some of the stuff that you saw that happened in Isle of Man yeah. the other week, the things that these, like, 10-year-olds have been taught, or what, was, it's crazy. But the thing is, them going and uh, Rishi Sunak saying, oh, I'm going to go and speak to the Department of Education for it, where do you think the stuff came from? Yeah. They have been totally captured by Stonewall, by these other organisations, yeah, yeah. pushing through this ideology. And now the headmasters, the head of the headmasters, yeah. what's he called, the head, the head headmaster? Bowen. He's saying yeah, that, he's, that there's no need for it. He's like, oh, no, there's no all. need. Well, mate, it, it, there obviously is a need for it because we're hearing about lots of these different schools. He's like, well, it's a minority of schools. I don't care if it's one school. Yeah. It yeah, needs to be I looked agree. at. Like, I don't think, like, one child, that's, surely that's an alarm bell. Yeah, yeah. Um, exactly. And yeah, he's clearly so. And he's, all, he's talking about here, uh, we need to listen to the voices of the education professionals and pupils. Now, if any educational professionals out there are pushing the primary school, even secondary school kids need to learn about choking and some of these other mad things that we've heard about, their hard drives need to be checked. Yeah, absolutely. And I think with the people we need to listen to the most are the parents. Parents generally have the best interests of their children at heart and are, are the best custodians uh, of them and, and deserve to have input into, into what they're told, taught. Gen generally. Generally, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's a few. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Fred West wasn't so great.